Good morning, I've just made my way down into Cowspear. There is like no wind this morning, so conditions are pretty good. Um, I'm gonna be tracing some whiting and hopefully get some squid as well. I'll put a float out for some squid and I'll show you that rig. But for now, we're gonna be chasing whiting. And yeah, we'll hopefully we get some. I'm gonna try a different spot. This spot's just been no good at all. I might try, there's a sand bank over there, which goes really shallow. I might put on a smaller sinker and try that. The hope is fading. Alright, I'm gonna start moving down. So, yeah, the best time's passed now, kind of. But I might put a squid jig on and or a soft plastic on or something because it's very quiet. It's had a really good bite. Um, definitely not a toady. Felt a lot more whiting, whiting like. Most likely just got my bait off. Ooh. Oh, I missed him again. Alright, they took they took both baits, I'm um, pretty sure that was whiting, 90% sure. Just by the way they were biting, so hopefully we can get a couple and then I'm going to cook them up later, do a catch and cook. They were just on that sand bank just there. So I'm going to hold the rod. Got one. All right, just hooked up to one. Let's find out what they are. They feel pretty decent, whatever it is. Hopefully this can be lunch, whatever it is. This one's definitely not a toady. It's fast. Big whiting. That's a monster. Yes. Little beauty. All right, there you go. First whiting's an absolute thumper. And the hook just fell off. That's a beautiful whiting. A few more like that would be perfect. That's the unluckiest whiting. As soon as I pulled him up, the hook just fell off. Look at that. That's a beautiful whiting. Got something else, don't know what it is though. Tommy Ruff.
baby Tommy Ruff. He's a perfect little live bait. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep him just because he's such a good bait. Actually, we'll let him go. All right, I give up. Gonna go back, gonna go buy some stuff to cook up the fish and then I'm gonna cook it up. So I'm pretty hungry. All right, so I just got back to the holiday house and so we got this one, this one big whiting here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go clean it outside and I'll go out there and show you how I clean it. And then we're gonna cook it up just in some flour, oil and egg probably. So bought some wraps as well, so we'll put it in a wrap. But yeah, first we go scale it and gut it and then fillet it. So let's go do that. I've only got a blunt knife. This is like a bait knife. I didn't, there's no filleting knives in this house. So yeah, this is gonna be a, I don't know. This will be interesting. Let's get into it though. So just getting the scales off with the back of the knife. I'm glad the one whiting which I did catch wasn't tiny. Like it's actually well worth eating this one. All right, so the scales have been taken off the fish. Now we're gonna just go straight to the filleting part. knife is so blunt. There you go, there's one fillet done. Pretty thick, really good sized fillets actually, so these are going to be good when, when we're cooking them up. Look at the filleting job on him. Can we talk about it for a minute? Worst knife in the universe and Managed to do something decent. Okay, two fillets are off now. Did good on the first side. The first side of the fish is pretty much perfect. The second side is pretty average. But yeah, we got most of that meat off. See, I missed a bit there, which I cut off. Um, so now we just gotta get the, some, of the, some of the bones on the side out. Now, all you do for these so you want to cut out the gut cavity also, of course. So there's the gut cavity going, gone. Around here, along here, they have uh, the whiting have some rib, small rib bones there. So what you want to do is cut those out as well, which I'll do now. So you miss out on a little bit of meat, but gets those little bones out, which you don't want to eat. Okay, so all these are both now ready to eat. So we'll go inside and then cook them up. Mix up the egg a little bit, and we'll put the fish in it, and then we'll put the fish in some flour. All right, put the fish in the egg. Put both fillets in there. Chuck them here. And then we'll just coat them in a little bit of flour.
All right, dust all that excess flour off there. Now the oil should be about smoking, so that means we'll turn it down. That's off, oops, that's no, on. So we'll turn it down a bit lower. Okay, so now the fish is about ready to go in. So that sit for a little bit and then put some butter on there. Not on the fish, next to it. Just a little bit of butter, you know. Okay, the skin has just started going golden, so we'll flip over. Oh, it's got splashed by oil, that felt real good. And um, we'll let that cook for about two minutes. All right, that's about done. Alright, so I just took the fish out of the oil. I'm just gonna let them sit for a little bit. So that's what they. Obviously, I broke that little bit off just to see if it was cooked. But it uh, it looks really good. Um, yeah, we'll have it in a minute. Here's the first wrap. So I'll put one of the fillets in there. Fold her up now. The one-handed wrap master. There we go. All right, there's one whiting wrap done. So, just gotta get another one out and then I'm just breaking it up into little bits. When I'm putting it on, one-handed wrap master yet again. Ta-da, look at that. Wraps are all good, all done. As you can see, it looks cooked pretty well. So we'll go sit down and eat it. <whistles> looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. All right, about to have my first bite. Mm. Very good. I mean, have a look. How could it not be good? So good. I'm the best cook out there. I've never cooked whiting before. This is my first time I, like, ever trying to cook whiting or filleting whiting. I've never done that either. Oh well, turned out very good. Definitely gonna be doing more of these catch and cooks, fish type stuff, because it's just so good. I'm probably gonna do like more down at the pier though, so I'll bring a little gas cooker. I didn't bring my gas cooker this time, so I had to do it in the little house, but. All right, plate is completely finished. How good, the wraps are actually like perfect. I don't know. I don't know what happened, maybe I fluked it, or maybe, I don't know, I'm just a genius at cooking. But that was my first time ever trying to cook whiting, and it turned out really good in some wraps. If you're liking the catch and cook style videos, um, leave a like on the video. And also, if you've made it to the end, you might as well subscribe. Uh, it helps me out a bit. So, yeah, if you could do that, it would be greatly appreciated. And also, when you subscribe, there's a little notification bell thing. Also, click that, because otherwise, if you subscribe, and you don't have that turned on, then it pretty much does nothing, so turn the notification bell on so 
you actually know when I post videos because sometimes YouTube doesn't show you. So yeah. So as always, tell me what videos you want to see next and into the future. And yeah, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.